Welcome back everybody to Fantasy Star 4. This is the last side quest of the game. We have one place we need to go to. We're actually going to hop in the Hydrofoil. Which ruins the great music that's currently going on, but that's fine. I need to locate. We're going to Anger. Oh, I'm getting off that. Alright, left. We're going to Anger. We're going to Anger Tower today. So many annoying enemies, holy shit. Boom. This is Anger Tower. Huh. The sword's shining? Oh, protectors of Algo. The Anger Tower welcomes you gladly. Gladly. Alrighty. We are a mission in here. Alright, we're going north. Then right. Then down. Up these stairs. Up to a chest containing guard mail. We're gonna equip that on Chaz. So you'll need it. Down the stairs. Up. Left side of the room. Down. Grab that chest. Soul do. Go up the stairs. North, East, South, West, South, up the stairs, and now we're on the final floor. Everyone's gone, and we are now left alone, with no music, and Alice, somehow, is here. I wonder what the hell this is about. Hello? You hear alright, Chris? This music should sound familiar to you all. Familiar to you all. This is the music that played when an unfortunate incident occurred. Also known as Alice's death. I don't know if this is only for her death, but it's definitely the one that was impacted. Uh, the one I remember it for. This music is really good, I have to say. Probably one of my most favorite soundtracks of this game. I think it's what made it, her death even sadder. Was the music which played along with it. This isn't too much of a boss battle. She's only got about 500 HP. She's a bit resistant and she does she doesn't do shit damage, but yeah. Anyway, if we attack... Yeah, 36. Sizable, but... She'll be dead before... She kills us. Goodbye. Ellis. I do miss that music though. Damn it, could you play like no music or keep the fucking sad thing going on? Like, this this music does seems way too happy. Eh, eh, eh. Who the hell was that? Huh, you seem angry. Well, well, Protector, what a weakling you are. So you wail and lament for something you know to be an illusion. Your anger, your hatred, it's quite a show of your force of character. Would you like to be... Would you like to be able to wholly transform those feelings into strength? Huh? There's a technique to transform emotions of anger and hatred into powers of destruction. Do you want to know about it? Yes. I see. You say you want to know. If that's the case, show your mastery of the yard with your body. What? That sounds a bit sus. 
Don't you understand the true meaning of anger and hatred? It's ridiculous that a fellow like you could consider himself worthy to wield the sacred sword. Because I can't say that name. Reface. He is a boss. That we don't want to face. Um. Attack. That's me good. So yeah, um, as you can guess, you're not meant to say yes. You want to say no. Uh, hopefully, if you guys are playing along and hopefully you didn't, you know, make the mistake of pressing yes. I did that on purpose to show it off. No. Huh? Why is that? It would only be the same as darkness. I see, you've fought the illusion and yet you haven't lost sight of yourself. Alright, I shall trust you with the technique. The forbidden technique, Megid. There's nothing to be afraid of. It's necessary to feel anger and hatred for humans to be human. Oh, there shouldn't be any danger that you will be corrupted by the power of Megid. Just don't forget your true self. Anyway, so yeah, he just learned Megid, and if you remember from the second game, that shit was broken. Um, question. I'm gonna get into a battle real quick and uh, test it out, eh? I think you can use it. I'm pretty sure you can use it. Pretty sure that's the whole point of getting to you. Oh wait, what am I doing? Yeah, Megid. 30 TP makes sense. And if it's even like the second game, wow. Don't take. Got it. Alrighty, show us how it's done, Chaz. Wait a minute. Did he just not lose health? Huh. This isn't the whole point of... Uh, whatever. Wait, let's show it off again, just to be sure. Alright, how much health? One... Okay. Yep. No, no HP loss. Nothing. Okay. That's a bit disappointing, if I to be honest. I feel like Megan in the second game really made it feel like it was very dangerous to use. It was a lot more unique, I would say. Instead of just having an ultimate move, cost nothing really. Yeah. But yeah, we uh, learned the Mega technique. Um, actually, I wonder, was it show up in the techniques thing? Yeah, let's go up. There you go, Mega. It's a light element, and it damages all enemies. Nothing about losing HP or anything. All right. Yeah. So yeah, we got the Mega Technique, that was the last side quest of this game. Next time, I believe, I don't know how large the last dungeon is, I, I made myself not play it, to not spoil myself too much. But hopefully the last dungeon is not, if it's, if it's really large and it takes me a while, I'll probably split it in, uh, I'll probably end it near the boss, rather than then uh, do the boss and get the ending in the same episode. I I don't know yet. Yeah, but anyway, we're nearing the end of this game. Uh, I will probably make a special episode after the final one. Uh, and I'll talk about that later, though. Anyway, yeah. That's the last technique. Uh, that's the ultimate technique Chaz learned. That's all the side quests done. We've done all the jobs. So, yeah, we're ready to tackle the final boss of the game. Well, and also the final under. Anyway, hope you guys all enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!